gonna have to go. What up, sweet gang? It's your girl Rochelle coming to you with a special video. In this video, I will be teaching you how to make custom theme strawberries. And this theme, of course, you see is Bumblebee. This will be a three-part series. This will be series number one. And in the series, I'm just showing you how to create different beautiful custom made treats part two would be oreos part three would be the candy apples so we're going to get into these beautiful strawberries if you are new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up at the end of the video Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know how you enjoyed this video and if you learned something and if I gave you life. To all my subbies, welcome, welcome, welcome. And we're just going to get right into the video. Before you, I have my supplies. I have some Merkins candy melts, which is yellow. I have my parchment paper. I have my paint palette. I have my glass mix a uh, measuring cup which i'm going to melt my chocolate in i have three different shades of fondant which is by fat daddy o's pro series i have white yellow and black three strawberries that i'm going to be demonstrating to you today green sand and sugar i have uh, a circle cutter i have two different sizes because i got some large strawberries here so i want to make sure i'm going to cut out the right size that's going to fit for when I do the bumblebee. I have my Wilton's bumblebees and I have my rolling pin. I have my cutters for my flower. I have a large and a small. I have some edible jewel dust. All right. I have some edible paint, which is the color black. And if you didn't see the jewel dust, show that again. I have my spatula, I have my balling tool, paintbrush, I have my pin blade, and I have my PME cutter. This is a very good cutter for when you do creative um, treats. All right, and also, you know I have my silicone mat, and we're going to get right into melting some chocolate. So let's get into it. Now we're going to melt our chocolate. I have placed the chocolate candy melts into my glass container here. And it's another supply that I forgot to mention and show you all is the chocolate chamele chameleon yellow food coloring. This is what's going to make the candy melts a little darker and I'm going to demonstrate to you as soon as I get done melting the chocolate. I'm going to melt the chocolate for 30 seconds and let's get into it. 30 seconds is up. I'm going to go ahead and mix this chocolate. Now you see how light it is. Pay attention to the color change when I add the chocolate color chameleon which is really good to have when coloring your candy melts. Okay, you want to make sure that you mix your chocolate very well up against your glass container so that majority of your chocolate would melt. Now I'm going to add the chocolate chameleon can, uh, food coloring, which this is really good. You want to make sure you shake it up. And I'm just going to add, let's say, eight drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Give it a good stir. And you can also add more than that. It doesn't matter how much more you add. The more you add, the darker it will get. I'm going to go a little bit darker. Pour some in there this time. Like I said, it doesn't change the consistency. It actually makes it smoother. It doesn't change the taste either. So this is a very good product. And it's by Erickson Accent. And I will leave that in the description box below this video. 
So I have my strawberries and I have toothpicks in my strawberries. They help with dipping. So when you get ready to dip your strawberries into the chocolate candy melt, you want to make sure you pull the leaf up, holding it with the strawberry, and you just go right in. The key about having smooth strawberries is to have enough chocolate or candy melt in your container. Now I scrape the bottom of my strawberries and I press them down, put them down and I press forward. All right. Now when coating your strawberry with the sandy sugar or any sandy sugar, you want to make sure that it is still wet to apply the sanding sugar. So I'm gonna dip this strawberry all the way in. One of the leaves too fell in. Still scraping the back as so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and coat Okay, now the thing about with this, when you coat it, you want to make sure that it is smooth. Okay, sometimes you may have to smooth it out and shape it up. Because what it's going to do is get hard. Okay. And that is how you coat your strawberry for the grass. All right, so we have our strawberries coated. We're going to move our strawberries over to the side, and we're going to get right into creating our fondant pieces. All right, so the first piece we're going to create is the flower. All right, so what we're going to do is add some powdered sugar, or you can cover your surface with starch if you like. I like to use powdered sugar. You want to make sure you need your fondant so that it will be smooth when you get ready to roll it out to create your piece. You want to make sure your piece is very even and neat as possible. Not too thick and not too thin. Okay, you just want to bring it out make your flower come to life all right so i'm gonna cut out both pieces and if you want to tap your cutter into the powder you can do so all right and just press shake it a little bit and it comes out in the same way for the small one into the powder shake it off and you have your two pieces Pull the excess fondant off. So what you're going to do is take a little small spatula. All right. And pick up your small pieces because they are delicate. Okay. And make sure with your X-Acto knife or your pin blade, whichever one that you have, any extra pieces that is sticking off you want to just cut them off all right and you're going to take your balling tool the thicker part the big part and just make a circle just in a circle of motion to give it some depth to your flower you want to pick up your small flower and then you want to place it into the center taking your balling tool taking the smaller end and just slightly press in the center. So let's get into creating the grass with the flower and the bee buzzing around the strawberry. All right. So I done grabbed my edible black, my brush, my little bee, and the flower. And what we're going to do is apply color to the strawberry and as well the flower all right so what i'm going to do is get a little black at the end of the tip you can use black 
or brown for your center and just dab to where it's in a circle all right and you want to pick this piece up here and you want to add chocolate to the back of it so what I'm gonna do is take my balling tool and apply some chocolate to the back to apply it to my strawberry all right I'll let that sit there now you want to take your brush and you want to make sure you got enough color on the tip of your brush because you're going over the sand and sugar the thing about using the brush and the edible paint if you use an edible marker you will start pulling off the sugar and tearing up the chocolate and you don't want to do that so i felt that a brush and the edible paint would be better it'll come out better so you just want to make marks see the sandy sugar coming up this all right as so so you all can see that and then you want to apply some chocolate to the B to the back of the B and just add just enough all right so that it won't show when you apply your piece you want to hold it there for a few seconds so that it can hold and take place and that's oh put that back on there let's add some more chocolate You want to make sure that is in a good position to where it's going to stay and hold. All right. And there you have this strawberry. Now let's get into our bumblebee. Now let's create the bumblebee. So we have our strawberry, we have our fondant, and we have our PME cutter. And I'm just going to powder my surface, moving my strawberry back. And this is going to create the lines to go over the strawberry. I'll roll it out. And you want your lines to be as thin, not too thin, but you want them to be thin enough where they're not bulky and sticking out. You want it to look clean and almost realistic. You want to have a realistic feel to the strawberry. So as I roll it out, add a little powder to the cutter. You want to take the cutter. It's not going to take too many strips. You only need just three. And you want to press down, hold these two ends, and just slide back and forth. All right. Once you have done that, you might get some up in here. That's fine. Just take it out. Okay, as long as you still have some strips, pull the extra off.
you just want to take your kabuki brush if you get too much powder on there and just brush that extra off okay now you can use your exacto knife or your pin blade to get up your strip which i'm going to do with mine all right Taking your strawberry and taking the first strip, placing it on there. Now you can add just a dab of water, some water along the back of the strip. But if it has enough moisture, then just apply it to the strawberry. Okay. And you can cut off the extra. Okay, same for this side. Make sure the lines are straight. And I just cut off the extra. And applying, I wanna make sure this powder is off of here. and apply. Now remember, if it don't stick, you just need a dab of water. And make sure it's even. Come down some. Apply. And break off. You want it even as possible. I'm just straightening up the lines. All right. And the same for the bottom. Cutting off the extra. You want to take your white fondant and this is how you can create your wings and you just need one circle to make sure your surface is totally clean I'm picking up fondant pieces so being that the strawberry is a little bit bigger, I'm not going to go with the smaller one, so I'm going to go with the bigger one. Cut out my circle. Taking my pin blade and cut down the center of it. Okay. And what I'm doing is just tapping the edges they won't be so sharp all right and just apply it sideways to your strawberry and you can bend it back there is your bumblebee all right so now that we have two of our strawberries finished we're gonna go ahead and add the jewel dust to our third strawberry. Now adding or applying the jewel dust to the strawberry, it can be added while wet, which I should have done in the beginning, but I wanted to go ahead and dip these strawberries. So I'm gonna show you another way you can do as well as applying the jewel dust to your strawberry. So we're gonna move our bumblebee back and our grass strawberry. And we're just gonna coat the strawberry with glitter. This is edible, edible glitter. And it's FDA approved. Okay, putting down our parchment paper. 
I dampen my kabuki brush and I'm just going to rub it across my berry as so. And then I'm going to apply. Now, whatever extra you have fall on the paper, it can go right back into the jar. Okay. Shake it off and it's coated. Just simple as that. I'm gonna sit that there. Take my dust and apply it right back to the jar. All right. And this is how you create the lovely custom themed strawberries. Be creative. Find different ways that you can do your strawberries. This is just one of mine. So if you have enjoyed this video of the first part series of creating theme Bumblebee, Give this video a thumbs up comment in the comment section below letting me know how you enjoyed this video and letting me know you ready for the next series next part two of this first series of theme treat making all right so don't forget subscribe 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 hit that subscribe button i know you do to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to let your girl come to you and give you like it's your girl ro i'm about to go but i definitely see you all in the next video